Hey fragrance rockers, it's great to see you all. Are you guys interested in BDK? I'm really getting hooked on this house. I got a few fragrances from them so far and I am hooked. I'm excited to tell you all about Cell de Argent, so stick around. So welcome to my channel, Kristen Rocks Frags. My name is Kristen and it is time to talk fragrances. If this is your first time checking out my channel, please be sure to like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe. So I'm sorry it's been a little bit, it's been a couple of weeks, been a busy couple of weeks. Uh, I got to have my nephew up for almost two weeks so I didn't really get time to, to review then but we had a great time and um, and then just, uh, you know, keeping up with everything going on. And I have a show coming up, so I'm really excited about that. I'm playing at Wheelie Fest in Pennsylvania. Um, it's, in, it's in Lackawaxen, Pennsylvania, uh, on August 14th. So uh, definitely check that out if, uh, if you guys are rock and rollers. I'm gonna be playing with Static in the Attic, Killer Band. So I'm really excited, it's gonna be a blast. I love playing there. Uh, they've been doing their show for 22 years. It's really cool. It's going to be my fourth time doing uh, playing there, so it's always a pleasure. So, anyway, uh, I still haven't been uh, haven't been slacking on the fragrances. That's for sure. So I apologize that I fell behind on reviewing, but uh, I picked up some really nice scents, and I'm excited to tell you all about them. So today I want to show you Cell de Argent by BDK. And it's a French house, and um, I've been getting really hooked on their scents. Um, I kept hearing great things about them. A lot of their fragrances are, you know, getting some hype. And um, Alan from Beverly Hills Perfumery actually told me about their their blue fragrances. They have this fragrance and Citrus Rubiera, which I also love. So I'll have to review that for you guys next. But uh, he, re he highly recommended this, and I'm so glad he did. I fell, fell in love with it. So this is Eau de Parfum Concentration. It is a 2020 release. The perfumer, the news behind this fragrance, is Anne-Sophie at Behagel, or Behagel. I'm so bad with the names, I apologize. I think it's Behagel. Um, so it is 100 mil, and it sells for 190. Uh, uh, it retails for $190. So let me show you the presentation. So this is the box that it comes in. Definitely has that tropical, oceanic kind of feel with the blue going on. So it's kind of cool. It tells you some of the notes on the box itself. So that's kind of cool. And you have some information. Well, it's kind of cool. It almost looks like it, it defines the name of the fragrance in French. Kind of cool. So then you have your information on the back and then you got your information, some more information on the bottom and it slides up. Good, it didn't fight me too much. I tried to open it a little so it wouldn't get stuck and the bottle seats nicely in there. And let me show you this beautiful bottle. I love their bottles. So it's that gorgeous blue, heavy, thick glass, and beautiful cap, heavy metal cap. And it has kind of like a cool, like platinum almost kind of look to it. Beautiful, really cool, maybe like a tungsten kind of look. It's really cool. And oh, I can smell it from here. It's just gorgeous. I love this one. So it has. I love the, their presentation. It's just very clean, kind of simple, but just really classy and nice. It's got your BDK there and your information there. I don't think there's a batch code. Yes, it is there. It's hard to see it, but yep, you got your batch code there and then, you know, more information on the bottom. So, you guys ready to do a spray? So let me read the notes out for you guys and then as always, I will give them a spray and give you my thoughts. So, well, firstly, this, the, the vibe that they're kind of going for is 
you know, a tropical vacation kind of feel, you know, a beautiful day out on the beach. I mean, you know, you just went in the ocean, took a, be you know, took a nice swim. The sun is shining, you come out, you still feel, you know, the, the salt on your skin. You can still smell that salt on your skin along with the sunshine and it's just beautiful. It totally takes you to somewhere on the, on the Caribbean or something. And I'm really in the mood for for the beach, as you can tell. I feel like a lot of these fragrances I've been reviewing are very beachy and tropical. So yes, I'm definitely craving that. So here we go with the notes. At the top, we have Essence of Italian Bergamot, Grapefruit and Salted Accord. And then the heart, we have Orange Blossom Absolute from Tunisia, Ylang Ylang Essence from Madagascar, and galbanum essence from Iran, so it's kind of cool. It's, they got beautiful ingredients from all over the world, so really cool. And then uh, in the base we have Inbroxen, Kashmirin, Timber Soap, which I've never heard of that before, and then White Musk. So let me go give a spray. So, here it is. Okay, I got some other fragrances today. I have a little haul, so I sprayed some other stuff, so I had to pick a non-sprayed area. Really nice spray, it's that kind of spray, like that Dior kind of spray where you can control the spray. Really nice. Oh, I love this one, this is so good. So the top is definitely very bright and citrusy, but the, the salty notes come in pretty quickly, um, so you definitely wanna want to like aquatics. It's not, uh, it's, there's nothing fishy going on here, anything like that, or seaweedy, but you do get that saltiness going on. So right away, you do get a good amount of salt. Um, and then it starts to get a little bit floral in the heart, you know, with the ylang ylang and the orange blossom, but it's just very nice. And usually I'm not a floral fan, but there's something about the florals in this that I actually really like. I think it just the notes are really well balanced here. So maybe it's that galbanum that helps kind of balance it out a little bit. It doesn't let it get too floral or overly feminine. So as it dries down, it starts to, it starts to get really musky. It's, I love the feel, the way this fragrance wears. Um, I don't really notice the Ambroxan so much, um, but the cashmere and, and definitely the white musk. I find this very musky. And it just has like this billowy feel. Like it's almost like you're floating on a cloud and you know, maybe you, you, know, you took a nice swim in the ocean first and then you're just laying out on a cloud. It's just flowy and beautiful. Um, I actually wore this to uh, uh, my friend's wedding uh, a couple weeks ago. We went up to Rhode Island. It was beautiful right on the water and I thought this fragrance would do beautifully. So um, I wore this with like a nice blue dress. So it kind of it kind of makes you just want to dress up. It makes you feel kind of dreamy and flowy and airy. Mm, this is just beautiful. So performance wise, um, the projection in the beginning is actually pretty decent, you know, for the first half hour. It does it does push actually pretty well, like even like this, like you do get a nice projection from your skin. Um, but I wouldn't say the longevity is really crazy, you know, around four to six hours, so about, you know, about average. But honestly, I enjoy the scent so much, I'm okay with reapplying. But uh, this is one you can still spray a good amount of and you're not gonna really kill anybody. So, um, so yep, you get good projection for the first half hour to, to an hour, and then it does start to sit closer to the skin. Uh, you know, spraying your clothes, of course, helps give you maybe another hour or so. Um, so uh, I, I would find this unisex, maybe a touch feminine leaning. Men definitely wear this. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of you know a lot of men talk about it and stuff, and they really enjoy it. But um, right away, this only, this did kind of come off a little feminine to me, and it's not often I really like feminine scents to be honest. So I like how this is something different, and this doesn't really smell like a lot of the fragrances I have in my collection. So I just I really enjoy this. 
it just makes you think of like a beautiful tropical vacation. Um, I wish I brought this to Jamaica years ago. This wasn't out yet. <laughs> like I said, yep, I got married in 2018. So, but if this was out then, I definitely would have took them. <laughs> but um, it's just beautiful. I just love, it just has such an airy, like billowy feel to it. It's just really lovely, kind of dreamy and surreal. And, but you know, it has that salty oceanic feel that I love. I personally just really love aquatics. Um, but I don't think this is one that would offend somebody who's not like, you know, crazy about those salty notes because I still think that white musk in the cashmere and smooth it out so it's not just, you know, in your face and harsh. Uh, it is well blended, so. But this is just a really beautiful scent. Um, I think it it would be a compliment getter. I think earlier in the wear, probably, as it dries down, it might not be as noticeable, you know, but uh, if someone's closer to you, I think it would definitely get compliments. Um, seasons, this is best for. I think, you know, hot and humid, beautiful summer day. Um, you could probably get away with it in the spring, too. Um, I think early fall might be pushing it, maybe, the, you know, if it's still like above 65, you know, like around 70, I think, and up, you're good. I think any cooler than that, this might kind of get lost. It really, this, your skin needs to warm up for this one to come to life, I think. But um, yeah, this is very nice. Um, this, is, uh, this is one of the first scents that I tried from BDK, so um, I'm definitely looking to build up my collection this coming this fall. There are a bunch of cold weather fragrances I'm going to get from them as well. But um, I'm really excited to review Citrus Riviera for you guys as well. That's beautiful also. And it's hard to pick a favorite to be honest. I'm glad they're very different. And I like how they're not really redundant to you know a lot of the blue kind of fragrances that are out there. So I'm really, I'm really happy with this one. Um, you know, yes, it, it is a little expensive, but you definitely get quality here. The notes are gorgeous and, like I said, well blended. So you're definitely getting quality. Um, and like I said, I wish it lasted a little longer, but you know, these kind of notes, they're, they're kind of more light and airy. But maybe if this was beastly, it might take away from that kind of wispy feel that it has. So maybe this is just. You know, it's kind of a meant to be thing with that performance and the way it wears. But uh, yes, definitely check it out. So that is my review on Celle d'Argent by BDK. What are your thoughts on it? Have you tried any of the fragrances from this house? Have you tried this one in particular? Definitely let me know your thoughts uh, below. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you have a wonderful day of smelling good. Thank you.